Twitter has announced that they will be, they will be banning all paid sponsorships and advertisements glo globally in the lieu of the 2020 elections. However, Facebook has not taken any action on what is being posted on their site. Twitter reportedly made $3 million in the 2018 midterm elections through advertisements while Facebook racked up $284 million. Both platforms, notice, notably Facebook, have been under fire for not cracking down on fake news. Both political parties have expressed their take on the issue. And so everyone's going to have their argument, but Twitter said, hey, guess what? We're not a media company. We're not journalists. We are information aggregators, and we're choosing not to aggregate that information. And that's what they did. The new ban will try to eliminate people from buying political reach on the platform. CEO and co-founder Jack Dorsey tweeted his thoughts, putting it into effect November 22nd. Tima believes politicians will still find their ways to get their message out to the public. Located on 120th and Maple Streets, you'll find a small area of woods secluded from the busy roads of Omaha. Reporter Ben Helwig reveals one of Omaha's unknown gems and the man who wants to share it with the community. A self-described simple man from Ohio, Sam Bennett, simply put, loves his job. Whether it be giving tours of nature or making a new best friend. All of a sudden I feel this little hand take, take my hand, you know, and I look down and this little boy, and he looked up at his mom and he says, hey mom, look, I have a new best friend. And that just, that really just ticked, that made my day. Sam is president of Heron Haven, a nonprofit wetland conservation that ironically first started as a bar. Despite claiming over 160 species of bird and an array of critters, Heron Haven is located in the heart of suburban Omaha. However, according to Sam, the oasis of nature allows visitors to break free from the hustle and bustle. Even though you're in the center of the biggest city in the state of Nebraska, you get out there and you kind of get lost. You can hear traffic from Maple Road, but after a few minutes, that just kind of disappears. Heron Haven keeps its trails open daily, allowing visitors to stop by at their leisure, whether they're taking pictures of the scenery or enjoying a nice brisk walk. And regardless of your activity of choice, Sam is more than happy to open up the center, make you a pot of coffee, and show you the ins and outs of a place that continually puts him at ease. I think when I'm out back here, I, I'm just calmer. It's, a, it's just a serenity. For the Omaha News, I'm Ben Helwig. Sam has been involved with Heron Haven for 12 years and served as president since 2016. He initially got involved because he loved bird watching and photography. Burger King received praise this summer for creating the Meatless Impossible